Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul. We're going into our next episode of our permadeath playthrough for the storyline. So, uh, as where we left off, we were going to go ahead and create a at least find some place where I could create a base. So I'm uh, headed there now. Um, if I remember correctly, yep, we got ourselves some chromatic metal. Uh, some other items, too, that we were able to get along the way. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to take off from the space station here, and since we can't find a paradise planet here, what I'm going to do is go ahead and land on this scorched planet. And create a base there. Now, we can make some more money. Of course, I have this one little structure over here I can find right now. Why don't we go ahead and do that? It's the best way to make money is to, you know, get the most expensive items you can find. And we have been tasked in our secondary mission to create a terrain manipulator on our multi-tool. So we can start getting that going now while we're waiting. Uh, we do not have it here. Let's go ahead and put it up here. We've got the dihydrogen jelly. We do two carbon nanotubes. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do that real quick. There we go. Back to the multi-tool. We should have just enough time to add them in. Terrain manipulator is complete. And just in time to reach our ancient ruin. Now once we get this, we're going to go ahead back to that uh, hot planet and see if we can't find a place to set up base at. Here we go. Ah, okay, this is kind of structure. I know what this is. So we're going to get a couple things here. We're going to get a few more words learned. If we've ever learned any to begin with. Okay, I'm going to learn something about the Gek. And accept that knowledge. There we go. That should be it, and toxic yeah, pretty strong toxic protection. My mind filling with the deadly knowledge of tears to Gek with masters of the galaxies. Each foe will submit a bended with bended knee to the Almighty Gek Dominion. The first spawn look upon our works in despair. Uh, not not we don't want language, we want knowledge. <clears throat> That's going to lead us to a ruin where we can dig up something very expensive. They're usually pretty close by, but not always. Uh, 1140, I'm not going to Tom and Jerry it over there. We're going to go ahead and take the ship. Let's see what our uh, launch fuel looks like. Ah, uh, 70%. We should be okay. We really could use some uranium. And this is a toxic planet, not a radiation planet, so... 10 seconds, okay. Now, of course, we've never landed on this planet before, so we may want to try to see if we can find some species to learn and discover. Now, the great part about these little uh, ancient ruins over here is they're protected from outside elements. So the poisonous gas, you're going to see that green stuff on the side. Now the green bar is missing. You notice at the bottom left it just has my life support and that's it. So, good good to know. Alright. Ah, that's where I want to be. Okay. There's our terrain manipulator. And the biggest chest is right there. Let's get our three keys. There should be one here. Follow the archway down. As usual. That's our first key. Whoop. <laughs> that was a mistake. Second key is inside here. There's other places to get the keys, but these are the easiest. That's two. Well, this one down, and this way. And there's our third one. Okay. And we'll probably grab the Gravitino Ball, because they are quite expensive, but we'll come back for it. 
because we're going to alert the sentinels as soon as we grab it. See, as soon as we come back down, look at that. Ducks of protection, you don't have to worry about them. Alright, give me something good here, buddy. Ooh, almost 3,000 years old. That's going to be about a million credits, I hope. Let's see. Alright, 1.3 million. Nice. Nice, that's really, really good. Okay, good. And, hey, maybe we can find ourselves a crash ship. That's right, we were going to do that too, weren't we? Alright, so. There should be two Gravitino Balls. Oh, we got ourselves a Predator? Ooh, he's a hunter, patient hunter at that. Oh, I think I just found a rock or something. Yeah. And we're getting some good money for that. Ooh, look at that. 172,000. Nice. Alright. I'm glad we added that upgrade to our scanner. That's some serious cash we just got. Now, my question is... Is that worth enough? we got three more. Uh, ground, flying, and flying. So we've got two in the air someplace. There's one. One. Should be one more in the air. And one more on the ground. Okay. So we got a Gravitino Ball over here somewhere. Now one of these Gravitino Balls we can't get. <laughs> There's one that we can the one up there, so that's two. There's one down here. I'll check it out real quick, but I'm pretty certain that one we can't get to. Yeah, that's right. It's underneath the structure, so we cannot get to it. All right. So it's the one that's over here, right, and the one up there. All right, let's get up here. We can get a. Whoops. Uh, figures. Maybe we can get a better view and find some more creatures and critters to look at. I need one more ground creature and a flying creature. Alright, hang on just a second here. No, I'm outside of my range apparently. Okay, hang on just a second. You get up to the height of the structure and you're outside the protective dome of... The protective dome of what? The anti-toxic protection dome? I don't know. Alright, let's, uh, let's upset some... the protection area and run in a circle and hopefully we don't get to get attacked by any animals oh crud they detected me already ah, okay they're a little bit uh, more than I thought Okay, another 24 seconds we're going to have to go. Good timing, huh? Alright, just got to go six more seconds. And we did it. Okay, so back to the protective dome. There we go. 
So we got a couple of those. That's worth another 80,000. So that's kind of nice. And okay, let's see. Do we get any other animals floating around around here? Alright, so maybe what we'll do is we're going to try to find that crashed ship. Or whatever it leads us to. Let's hope it's a crashed ship, shall we? I'd like to find something pretty decent. No, we get an abandoned building instead. Well, that stinks. Good news is, is that... Let me see how many spots we got open. We can collect some, uh, some, some eggs while we're there, and that'll get us a little extra money. So, let's head over there, shall we? How's our... Alright, so we got one more launch thrust we can do. Uh, let me see. What do we need? We need a metal plate. So I'll get one of those ready, just in case. Alright. Need some ferrite dust. How far away is that thing? 11 minutes? Let's take a little bit of a shorter run to get there, shall we? I hope you're enjoying these permadeath runs. And this is kind of a different one than usual since we're doing the storyline version of it. But we're planning on doing a little more on the uh, No HUD challenges as well. The Impossible Mission. I, I called it Mission Impossible. That's going to probably get me in trouble if I'm not careful. So I'm going to call it the Impossible Mission. You're going to see my uh, uh, thumbnail is going to change on that front. Huh, what's this? abandoned campsite there. That looks like an, uh, also a secondary abandoned building. Wow. Okay, let's land between them, shall we? We may have hit a little bit more of a jackpot here than I expected. So, we got those. Let's go over here and just take a look. Sure enough. I'll be... All right. So while we're here, anybody around? Looks like we've got a sentinel that's going to try to track us down. I see no more flying creatures. Up oh, there we go. There's the flyers. Okay. So we need one more ground-based creature, and then we're done. That'll get us the uh, six we need. get into the structure and we will let's see okay I'm gonna take a look around it to scout it out real quick there's use there's sometimes more than one entrance but it looks like this one only has the one entrance all right let's go in and collect stuff uh, let's see here that that Get some credits out of this. Like that. No, we don't need any projectiles yet. I don't have any blasters or something like that. So well, let's use you. There we go. All right. Put you down here. We'll leave you the way the way that is right now. Okay. down here and collect some stuff. Alright. You. Nothing found. That's fine. Let's turn on our light so we can see. Okay. More condensed carbon. Again, I'll use that a bit more of my multi-tool. Excellent. Almost fully charged now. That's excellent. All right, let's collect these nanites over here from this terminal. And like I said, we can enter the structure and time we need to recharge. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, shouldn't have uh, been so curious.
Yeah, not bad. 140 nanites. Alright, any animals around as we step outside? Got those flyers. Usual animals that we've already discovered. Okay. Alright. Let's get started. And you're going to see me do my usual run around. And we'll go ahead and collect these eggs. I think we can only collect three per slot. There's three. Two more. Another one. Hey guys, how you doing? Okay. Okay. This seems to work pretty well. I don't know. I mean, everybody else goes crazy, crazy, crazy about these guys. But you just do it in a casual manner and keep moving really doesn't cause you too many problems. There we go. We're going to end up filling up our inventory. But that's okay. We can put it in our uh, spaceship, too. Oh, there was one there. Okay. Okay. Over here. Wow, there's a lot here. Good grief. We're going to collect a lot. We're going to have to step in to recharge here soon. Okay, that one's empty. Whoa, hello. Okay, there we go. Oh, he bumped me. Oh, he bumped me. Oh, I actually got injured that time. Got to be careful. Okay, let's go inside. Recharge for a minute. Now, can we reach our ship, or is our ship too far away? It is too far away. What's our inventory like? Oh, we can catch it. We can have hold up to ten of them at a time. Oh, you dork. I don't like you anymore. I'm gonna go over here. Alright. Did I get anything busted in the process? No? Alright. What do we got? Got some dioxide. We'll put it in there. And we'll let that recharge in our shield. Come on. Sure does take a while for the shield to finally catch back in here. Get rehydrated while I can. Alright. Let's go. Hi, guys. I'm back. Oh, well, we're about to piss them off again. I wonder if they would continue to subside. Oh, that guy spit at me. Okay, this one was empty. Oops. Get around the corner here. Nice. Whoop. Whoa. Ha ha. Excuse me. Ha ha ha. He missed me. Okay. Uh, this one's empty. I think we just about cleared. Oh, no, maybe not. Empty. This one's empty. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Empty, empty. Oh, already. Whoa! That's what can happen. See, that's the worst that can happen, is right there. So you want to wake your way back and just use your jetpack a little bit. Watch your running. There we go. Okay, that one's empty. Empty. I think we got all of them. I think there might be one or two on the other side, but let's just double check. And don't worry about your toxic protection. We should be fine. That one's empty. That one's empty. This one... Looks like we're empty there, too. Excuse me. Just gonna slip right through there. Yeah, we got them all. That guy hit me, and he actually did not do any damage. So let me get to the door and get inside. Ooh, 
Whoop. Yep. There we go. And get around the bend because they like to. Uh... Oh, and the swarm is subsiding. Perfect timing. So we end up with 30 of them. I mean, that's pretty stinking good. We got plenty of room for more. Very nice. And the swarm subsided, so we should have no more. Nope. Okay. Where's my ship? That way. Still a couple guys out there. <laughs> Alright. Any more creatures? Still a couple guys out here wanting to attack. He's just a stinker. <laughs> he finally bury himself or what? Looks like it. Wow. Alright, these guys are panicking. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have a biological entity that we have never discovered. And meat eater and does not fear death. Isn't that interesting? But that's all six, so you know what that means. We should get ourselves up at a thousand, I guess. Oh, 1,500. Nice. So we'll be able to get some more upgrades after this. Because we've, uh, you know, shut down the game and restarted. Uh, I am curious as to whether he will attack me. I'm going to head over there real quick and see what happens. Uh, no. Okay, good. And I got the collector. Yeah, very good. Alright, so let's check out our second building while we're here. Why don't we move these over into our starship? There we go. Alright. And head to the second building. I mean, this, you know, kind of boring, but it's part of the whole kit and caboodle here, guys. I mean, this is what we do, this is how you play it. I guess I can turn off my light. Uh, where are you at? I guess I'm going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. It was too far down for me to grab it. So we're going to head over to this building, and we're going to head inside immediately. Where's the door? It looks like there's a door right there. Oh, man, I really would like a jetpack upgrade. I think that's on my wish list. Alright, back to mining beam. Doesn't look like we have any tentacles from the ceiling that attack us. That. Always collect stuff on the way, you know how I am. That's really good. We could use more of those. Uh, let's see. Yeah, more projectile. Just what I need. Alright. Let's get rid of it. Alright. Let's collect our nanites, and we'll head outside. And blah blah. Blah blah blah. Blah, blah, clouds, certain fungi, six times now. And we've got left uh, 147 nanites, very nice. So what does that leave us with? 2764, that's pretty good. All right, let's get started, and you can watch me do this again. Oh, excuse me, pardon me, sorry, coming through. I'm just going to follow you. What if I can ride them? Wouldn't that be neat? I think I missed one. Whoa. 
Oh, okay, we got a whole flock of them over here. I don't know if flock's the right word, but I'm gonna skip a couple over there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, somebody spit at me. Okay. Wow, this is gonna we're making some serious money over here. Just gotta hope we don't die. Hi, excuse us. So you're using the building and all these things around the outside of the building to protect you. Should I, we shouldn't have used the oxygen to do that, but that's okay. Ah, see, he's up past me right there. Good. Uh, last one here. That one's empty. <laughs> Use the building as a protection and a shield. And this one's empty. That one got me. That's okay. That one's empty. Let's go inside for a minute and just recharge. Three stacks. Nice. Alright, our protection's up again. This one's empty. Keep going. Empty, empty. Just keep turning. Oh, wow. He kind of hit me hard. Oh, that one hit me hard, too. Okay, that one's empty, though. little boost there. It looks like these are empty. I think we're done. I think that's all of them. Alright, let's go inside. And we'll let the swarm subside. Okay, yep, 30 more. So that's 60 of them. That's going to give us quite a pretty penny worth of stuff. So I'm really, really glad about that. And our shield's back up. Let's head for the ship. Oh, oh okay. Uh, ship, 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 ship is over there. Okay. getting kind of close to me again. Eh, not too close. They're pretty far away still. Alright, we're in good shape. Heard of rumble. I'm just making sure that a ship didn't land nearby. Because if they did, they'll drop X-Class upgrades and we can get some decent upgrades for a decent price. So. Not enough fuel. Right, of course. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're good. We discovered all the uh, creatures on this planet, so that's good. We do want to get some uranium one of these days. Where is our... Oh, you're right. Space station won't be found. Pardon me. So we're going to head... Once we get around the scorched planet to the other side, we can create our little base there. Let's go ahead and sell some more of this stuff on the space station. We actually might have, between all the stuff that we've collected so far, we should have enough credits to go ahead and get ourselves a decent ship if we want to buy one rather than find a crashed one. Uh, let's see. You can go back over to the exit suit. side of this planet here. One, two, three. Is that our... That, I think, is the space station right there. And there it is. 
Ones. See? That's how you find it. Just don't have to just look for that little yellow symbol anymore. You can find it just by looking for it on your little display. Alright, we just gotta wait for a ship to land and we'll be in good shape now. We have nothing else to sell. I'm gonna hang on to that, like I said. <sighs> that looks pretty good, man. I like this. Just need a ship. I don't want to sell them in the uh, trade, trading little terminal over there because that will kill the economy here for what it's worth. I mean, it's not the best. Well, it says prosperous, so this is actually a three-star system. Conflict level is really high, so there's a higher chance of getting hit by pirates every now and then. But we should have some decent ships here. How much money we got so far? We got about five million. That's not bad. This will get us up to, I'm guessing, about eight, nine million, something like that, maybe more. What do we got? Oh my. And it's a B class. That's not too shabby. Ah, I'd love to get an A class version of that. I don't know if I want to spend the money on it. Let's, talk, let's at least talk to this guy real quick. Oh, we are going to find ourselves a landing pad down below, that's for sure. I want this ship. Uh, let's trade first, of course. We need to sell... What do we got? We have... We're not going to sell the navigation data, of course. Gravitino balls. Goodbye. Uh, a little bit lower than price. We'll keep our salvage data. Uh, larval cores. He's giving us minus 2.5. That's not terrible. Well, we'll get more money for those than I thought. And we have them on board here, too. Excellent. How are we doing? Alright, that looks pretty good. We're at 10 million. Bad. How, does, how much does he want for the ship? I'm curious. 7 million. That's not too shabby. An A-class one would probably go for about 10 to 12. And we can exchange our own ship for it when we get to that point. So that'll be pretty good. Alright, I like this. Not going to buy this one. I want to find at least, bare minimum, an A-class one. Although the Explorers are really good ships if you can get your hands on a piece of one. I like this because it's at least symmetrical. It's when they're not symmetrical that I really get upset about it. Um, let's see if any of these guys have uranium on them. I really could use some. I hate using or having to create launch fuel. Uh, it's too expensive. Uh, I got some phosphorus and I have some on me already. Okay, let's check this guy over here. That's really much more. Hmm, he's got gold. Do I need gold? Let me check. What do I have? Do I have any gold on me? There's nothing there. If it's anywhere, I usually keep it on my ship. I do not have any gold. Let's grab some gold from him because we need that. How much will that cost us? Yeah, I'm going to take it. Knocks us down a little bit, but that's alright. I don't mind that. Haulers are just way too expensive. It's not worth it anymore. You can you can upgrade the inventory on your own ships to get where you need to be. You don't need to do it on a hauler. They do have a lot more inventory space when it comes down to it. I think they get an extra 10 or 20 slots or something like that. But really, when you're talking, you're going to have 100 slots to begin with. You get to a point where you're like, I don't care anymore. At least in my mind. It's up to you. Alright. What do you think? I think we should go ahead and create this base finally. We've been working at this for like a half hour now. We can always come back to the space station. Now, let's go ahead and take off. Let's go ahead and get to the planet. And I really, really want to find a landing pad. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. So straight at it. Boom. Let's get in this mode. Close enough that we can find something. Not a landing pad. That's not the word I'm looking for. I'd like to find minor settlements to create my bases at. But I would rather find a trading center. Larger ones. To look for ships at. Alright. Which way? A little north, I guess. 
this way so far. This looks like it'll be a nice little planet to do, do some, uh, you know, to create a little base on anyway. I always name my first base Alpha or Pre-Alpha or something like that, especially if it's not on a Paradise planet. Uh, finding a Paradise planet or a Bountiful planet, as they're called sometimes, uh, is definitely the excellent way to go because, my gosh, there's like nothing here. For a prosperous area, you think I'd find some, some you know, something. Anyway, um, it's definitely the way to go because, of course, you want to be able to, you know, get the things you need, you know, uh, and have, have safe conditions and not have storms every time you're trying to build something. So. Carbon. Carbon's what I was looking for. Let's get over here and see what we found. Drop pod. Well, that's worth my time. Let's go ahead and drop down and increase the size of my uh, inventory in my exosuit. Uh, we have enough of that. We need one of those. And we need... Okay, my mind just drew a blank. What else did I need? We don't have it. We can't make it in Amino. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. Well, that was a waste. Now, let's at least see if we could find something on this planet worth my time. I'm not seeing any structures anywhere nearby. Unbelievable. Sorry, we can't get in. Is it an Amino Chamber? No, no, it's a, a anti. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. Animatter chamber, that was it. Animatter chamber, yes. Can't make them yet. I keep thinking I'm not uh, doing the storyline, and I'm actually doing the storyline, so. Let's waste a little bit of fuel. We have one more takeoff we can do until we can, until, unless we find some place with a landing pad. And that place looks like it might have a landing pad. What do you know? Uh, no. Not going to take it just yet. I want to find a minor settlement. At the very least, due to the ability to get resources from a minor, minor settlement while you were doing some work. That looks like an abandoned building again. Sure enough, I'm not going to do that right now. I believe it actually found the abandoned building. That's a first for me. Yep, this is the annoying part, is trying to find what you're looking for. You wish you had an economy scanner on your ship, that way you could scan for it. And we'll tell you where there might be a landing pad or something. Landing pads are nice to have a base near, too, if you want to. The problem is, is that they don't have as many resources with a trader at a minor settlement, you can actually pick up some, you know, parts and stuff that you can't normally get through the terminal itself. Ah, cool. Uh, it's just a campground. Okay. That would be interesting if you could land on one of the freighters and you could do some trading on there. That would be pretty neat. Uh, what are you? Slowly. It's a trading terminal. Okay. You go slowly over it because you just want to make sure it isn't a crashed ship that just hasn't populated. 
on your screen yet. Hmm. Up high. Nope, just a campground. Okay. Wow, I am very sorry about this. I may just pause the video here and uh, so you don't have to suffer as much with me. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to pause here, folks, and when I come back to you, it'll be time will have passed for me, but not for you. So, all right, see you in just a moment. All right, back with you, and we found our minor settlement that we've been looking for. Very nice. Okay, good deal. Now, of course, we could always use a good multi-tool as well, so... Let's see what they happen to have here. Maybe we'll get fortunate enough. Ah, nothing to... Yeah, I don't know. C-class, nothing special. All it's got is a stupid blaze javelin, which nobody really likes. I don't even know why it's a thing. But it is what it is. Let's grab you. Excellent. I need an extra one of those. Got plenty of carbon on these bases, so that's good. What do you have for me? Now, uh, we can also get blueprints here, so that's another good thing. Animator housing. Yeah, I could have really used you a little while ago, couldn't I have? Well, I'll go ahead and grab it anyway. Uh, let's see, we got the wiring loom. Got some solar mirrors. Good, good. Microprocessors. Monocomputers, computers, magnetic resonators, glass. Excellent, excellent. All good. The hydrogen gels. Excellent. This is good. This is good. And I can get some navigation data from them as well. They're not that expensive. I'll go ahead and grab them. Because now we can find some more crashed ships if we want. See if we can fix something up for our, to our liking. The trade terminal doesn't always have a whole lot. Uh, let's see. Let me um, magnetic resonators again. Good, good, good. Got some metal plating here. 135. Nice. Okay, so we can build some stuff later on. Uh, Exocraft upgrade charts. 84 of them? Oh, I got lucky. I found him. I found one of these places that has a whole bunch of these, so I can upgrade the snot out of this later on when I've got enough money. Good. Got ammonia. Starship launch fuel, whatever. Uranium would have been great, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, you know? This is good. No, this is a good place. So what we'll do is right outside the side door here is where we'll actually create our base. This is what I like to do. Um... Pretty nice little area. I think I like this. We're pretty high up. Uh, we usually have a cave system nearby. Get the discovery. Like I said, there's usually a cave system nearby. Not always, but... Uh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Uh, looks like we've got another structure over there we have to discover. We'll check that out here in a little bit. Nothing there. Could be up there. Don't see anything. Well, wait a minute. Kind of. No, I wouldn't really call that a cave, but... Yep, there it is. There it is. There's our cave. Okay, good. Alright, excellent. Eh, a couple of those guys. Subterranean relics, not really worth much, but that's okay. Excellent, good. We got a cave system as well. Those are always handy. A little miniature cave here. Not that it's not really worth anything. We've got a guard. Okay, so I'm going to create it right here. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get the base computer. Now it says we need a portable refiner selected, but you know what? We already got chromatic metal, so. Turn it just a little bit. I'm going to put it right here. All right. The Lecu Space. You know, I might even leave the name there. Claim the base. So now we have a base. We've made that achievement. And we got some buildings nearby we can start ex uh, checking out when we get a chance. Very nice. And we're on to the main storyline here, guys. Accessing log. Storm sweeping, construction supplies, shelter plans, and we get our usual stuff. 
so? Guess what we're supposed to do? And guess what happens when we do it? We can make... How many of these? Twelve of them. So before we make this, I want to be clear, we're going to need some pure ferrite as well. So let's go ahead and lay down our portable refiner. Because I want to be able to create doors. And we do need plenty of carbon. Uh, where's my ferrite? There it is. But we're going to take you instead. Let's get some pure ferrite going on. We are going to need a little more carbon. Okay. And we do need some more carbon, so let's go find some. Okay, plants. There are literally no plants here. It's fine. And organics, that's no problem. Looks like our charge is about to run out on our shield. Let's go ahead and recharge that, shall we? Alright. I need carbon. That's a rock. Got them in the distance. I was hoping to get something a little bit closer. We're definitely going to need more of that. Okay. Get words while you can. You're going to need them. Really? It's a plant, dude. Let's grab the oxygen over here. Okay. Ah, good. We should get some good carbon out of this one. Alright. So now I think we just about doubled our carbon. Good. 200 carbon. Nice. Close to 300, and you can see we're running low on our mining beam as well. Okay. So I'm going to gather up as much carbon as I can right now. Alright, I think that'll be good for now. We head back. Love to see where they're headed. If I know where there might be a landing pad. Uh, oh, we can recharge that with phosphorus. I did not know that. Life support, power, low. Ha ha ha! Ah, jinx, you owe me a soda. Stupid computer. Stupid AI. Oh, don't get me started on AI. Good grief. Alright, so our computer's over there. We should have plenty of pure ferrite now. Yes, we do. Let's go build it. If you build it, you'll have shelter. Okay, so we're going to build it like right outside this thing. I like to make it halfway decent sized. Let's get some walls up. And I want to put a door there, and I want to put a door there. There we 
go. There we go. Because uh, we're going to get slammed here in a minute. All right, let's get our doors going. One there. One on the other side here. We're going to put one here to get in. I'm going to put one here as well and one here. All right, we've got plenty of doors. Let's go roofing. How many can we build of those? We can build 12, which will be 9, I believe. Really? You're going to do that to me, huh? Wrong button. There we go. Now everything's inside. Alright. Yeah, it's got a little bit of lighting. I'm not too concerned about that. We're going to go ahead and put our refiner back down. Right about there. Okay. Base computer's online, so we don't have to step outside. We'll just stand right here. Okay, so what are we getting? Entry follows, construction, salvage data, subterranean devices. And what do we get? We get our construction computer, the magnetized ferrite, and we should get, I thought we got one more thing, but I guess that's it. So we need magnetized ferrite. It's a carbon in here. We're almost out of carbon. Uh, we got ferrite. Where's our pure ferrite? There it is. And how much did we need? I don't remember. I know. Bad person. 20. We actually need more. And I'll tell you why. It's because we're going to have to build some stuff later on. So we're going to use all 200 in here. I'm going to make 100 of that. Because I seem to think we need 60 for batteries. Excellent. Let's put the rest of the carbon in here. We'll get more as we go out. Okay, so we need to find these. Salvage data. We're about 50 minutes in right now. Hmm, where did we get that from? So we need to go find some salvage data. Let's go get some. There we go. Take a look around real quick. 239. Okay. I don't think there's any any closer than that. Plus we got a building over there we can check out too. Okay. I'm gonna get hurt. Did I damage my suit? No, I did not. Okay. Yeah, that was a long fall. I'm actually surprised I didn't lose a heart on that one. Hey, look at that. That's uh, condensed carbon. Let's go ahead and grab some. We can't get the big one, but we can get the little guys. But of course we're going to get investigated. <sighs> you suck. I want that. that into our mining tool, but we don't need it just yet. Okay, let's see. How many did we get? We got two more. We're going to go through a lot of those onesie twosie things. We can't get those yet either. There we go. Good deal. No? 
No? Okay. That's okay. We got a good amount out of that. That's nice. Really? Wow, how many of these condensed carbons things do we have here? This is good, but... Very nice. Good deal. Ah, we can probably see those guys land. You know, take off, move, anything. No? Ah, well. Oh, wait, wait. To the left. So there should be a landing pad that way. So that's good to know. And I keep forgetting, of course, that I am in permadeath, so I keep getting myself pretty massively injured. We need to get as many of these things as we can, because the salvage data, that is, because we need so much um, to start with. Okay, I'll head over there. Said we need carbon. I'll go ahead and grab it while we're here. Nice. Okay, good, good. Carbon's useful for many, many, many different things. And if you've ever watched my How Do I Place No Man's Sky? video, you'll understand that it's used in a lot of different ways. It's one of the most versatile components you will ever need to get. Minerals, that is. Sometimes even more important than oxygen. Alright, good. Got a good amount of that. Dense carbon. This is a good planet for condensed carbon. I'm really kind of surprised. You know, it'll be really great is one of these days I can actually uh, get a jetpack upgrade. But I can go longer distances without uh, failing. Let's see if we can just grab it. Yep, we can. It's my... Yeah, it is. There we go. Back to normal. Take a look. Uh, 305, 316. We've got two right next to each other. Set up there. Uh, so we need at least 10 for a landing pad. We're going to need probably an additional 20 beyond that. So we're going to need quite a bit. And this, this episode will just be a little bit over an hour. I'm just... I wanted to show you the slog that goes through all this garbage to get to this point. Alright, I'm going to actually do that this time. There's the other one. It should be right next door. Yeah, there it is. You go through the hard way. So how many all total we got now? Twelve? Yeah, we need quite a bit more. I got unknown building over there. They probably have salvage data over that way too. Let's go check it out. Let's see what see go meet the neighbors. Shall we go meet the neighbors? I didn't even bring a pie. Really? Yeah, no kidding. Hmm. Oh, what do you know? I know what that is. 
They're gonna know what it is too. Seriously? See what we got. Take a quick peek too. We got a ship flying overhead. Looks like there's another building there just to the north. And of course it's a minor settlement. You found exactly what I, I shouldn't have said anything, but maybe that's what happened. Google heard me and it just said the game. Alright. North. That way. So there should be a building over here. There wasn't any salvage data over here. So let's head to this one, not too far away. And I think there's a building over there. Yeah, investigate this. I'm sorry, that was inappropriate. There we go. Told you there was a settlement over there. Or a building of some sort. Let's head over. Of course I broke my ankle again. That breaks his ankle and everything. Such a wuss. Oh, I don't really need that, do I? Yeah, stop. I forgot. I don't need any duck hydrogen. I got crap tons of it. I think the metric version as well. Alright. Alright. Right. Hey, I know you. I know I don't like you. Oh, for the love of all that's holy, would you stop? I scrape a rock around here when these guys pops up. Me, 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 me. At some point, it starts allowing you to get more than the two. All right, more nanites. Now let's get some more navigation data. All right. So we were up to 16 of them. I really would like to have at least 20. Uh, my ship is that way. Up there, okay. All right, let's take a quick peek around. We got another piece of salvage data over there. I think we've been there already, right? Yeah. Oh, that's the shelter that we're right in front of. Okay, let's go ahead and grab it. Where do those guys head? And to the left. So, landing facility should be that way. Really want to get myself that new ship. Oh, come on. You know what? It's flashing red. Nope, nothing got damaged. Okay, never mind. Okay, got it. That should be two more. So we're up to 18. 
Uh, looks like another shelter over there, but I know exactly what that is. Yeah, that's that uh, creation facility. Don't want to bust that yet because part of the storyline wants us to uh, take one of those places out. All right, we got two more sets over there. Let's go ahead and grab them. Here, good. Very nice. For once, we're on a planet that nothing's attacking us either, so. We've had too many planets lately where they, they haven't attacked me, so. It's kind of odd. up to you. Um, up we go. Should be one right there. Okay. And I thought there was one more like right here. Yeah, that's the one I saw. It looks like an unknown building up there too. So why don't we head up there and take a look. Yep, get out of that view, because that's annoying. Though I guess if I ever get VR, I'm going to have to get used to that look. New region. Abandoned building, okay. Oh, unburied technology. Okay. And we'll get whatever's in here. Probably just some more nanites. There we go. Alright. We should have more than 20 now. 24. Okay, where's our ship? There you are. We're gonna head back. Looks like we got some buried technology on the way. Let's go ahead and grab that while we're at it. out of that. That was nice. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. I see nothing else on the way, and I'm not going to go out of my way to get anything else, so we're going to head back to the ship now. And what do we have? Hour 8... Okay, so we've been a little more than an hour. We've created our base. we got plenty of stuff. we got the salvage data mainly because we're going to get some stuff in the construction computer now. And we are going to spend some more at the anomaly when it finally gets introduced to us. So the more of this stuff that I can gather as time goes by, the even better. Because there's some things I really need to have. Medium refiner would be great. Until I can get that medium refiner, I will make do with what I've got. Well, this looks like it. Just get up here. We're all set. Hmm, nice. Flew right over my head. Now I can't get up the slope because of the slope itself, but God forbid you should give me the ability to get up that thing. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's get our magnetized ferrite. Uh, deploy the reconstruction research computer, which we're going to put right in the corner. I always like to put... And we're going to learn some new blueprints. Technology. 
So we're going to get the teleporter. We definitely want the biofuel. We're not going to worry about that yet. We need wires, obviously. And we need a battery. And solar power. The rest of these is not really that important right now. Um, not going to worry about it because some of it we're going to get for free. And then you have your structures that you can build. Um, I don't think I'm going to waste it on too much. I'll go ahead and get the, tam the timber ramp. Because we might need it later. That's about it. Okay, so four structures. Okay, so we got all this stuff. Your base can be renamed. That's actually telling us, rename your base. Uh, Lecuse Base. I love the name. Let's keep that. And then, Elon Paul Re Alpha. I like that. So we'll get the achievement. We need metal plates. What are we doing? Oh, teleporter. Alright, so it wants us to build the teleporter. So let's go ahead and get that built. So we need four metal plates and two carbon nanotubes, right? So I thought we still had a carbon nanotube on us. I don't know what happened to that. Interesting. And we need four of those. I'm going to go ahead and build them. I could have got them from the inside, but that's okay. And now we're going to build our teleporter, which is going to go right over here. Okay, now we got to power it. So how do we power it? We go to our power section. I would like to have a battery so we could store some charge in it. We have That's what the magnetized ferrite was for, so we got that. Now, it wants us to build the biofuel reactor, not the solar panel. But you remember I got that gold, so that was the whole reason I got it, so I can build solar panels, and I'll build them later. We need a metal plate for that and a metal plate for that. So let's go ahead and do... You know what? I want to save my ferrite if I can. Uh, where do we go here? There it is. Let's get... One for the biofuel, uh, and then let's make three of the solar panel. Okay. So the biofuel, I'm going to put right here next to it. And, you know, the solar panels you don't have to put outside, but for aesthetic reasons, you're going to go ahead and do it anyway. Why? Because you feel the same way I do. It just looks right. You could put them inside. You could put them underground, and they'll still work. And one more. All right. Let's get the wires and run them. Okay. And we're going to run it from there. To the biofuel reactor and from the biofuel reactor to the battery and then the battery to the teleporter uh, that's the battery pool. we got this biofuel reactor requires anything we want we got plenty of we don't have that ton of carbon we can put in there but we do have some condensed carbon or some oxygen I'm going to go ahead and use some condensed carbon. I'm just going to cut it in half. It'll still give us 25 hours of burn time. And you can see that it's storing the power pretty good. So there we go. We're all set. We've got base power. We've got the ability to get a whole bunch of stuff done. Um, we've got plenty of these guys left. We've got 11 left. That will get us our landing pad. I might need a few extra of that. All right, so let's put the gold into our starship. Magnetize ferrite that we have left into the starship. We're going to put carbon back up here where it belongs. Okay. And there we go. I think we're in really good shape right now. Um, yeah, I think we're in good shape. 
everything's recharged we're gonna go ahead and be upgrading we're gonna be looking for a new ship I, th I think that's what we're gonna do on our next episode rather than following the storyline the storyline will pop in but we're, we really want to get a new ship and uh, we need to make some money so I want to get myself at least an A class of those uh, solar ships I really love those ships as you know and then we'll look at getting uh, something some other stuff later on as well and really build it up I mean we could go by the storyline very strictly or we could do this how we want and really explore more so let's have fun with this okay we're an hour and 15 minutes into this folks let's go ahead and call it I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is sayonara for this particular episode I want to thank you all for joining me today um, it is dark out we'll check out the computer when we get a chance let's go into a nice lit up area here um, where you can check out the character and when we get to the anomaly or even the space station we officially have the a chance to get to the space station not in a unofficial capacity like I've been doing we're gonna go ahead and change our exosuit appearance as well I mean I don't mind the default appearance we got here but I like I like to spice it up a little bit when we get to the anomaly we're gonna go ahead and go into the uh, uh, Quicksilver vendor we're gonna go into our twitch rewards and all the other rewards and we're gonna start pulling some stuff out and really customize the character a little bit more so again I hope you enjoyed watching this Please hit that like button, if, if, especially if you'd like the contact, uh, context that we did here, all the content that we did here. Really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, hey, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. i got a lot more content coming. And hey, when that, uh, uh, hopefully this is this episode's going to come down the road away, so you're probably going to see this sometime late March. Uh, I had been filming this in February, so hopefully we'll, we'll have some changes that you will have enjoyed with the new update that came out. So... I don't know if that's coming out soon, because it's still February for me, but we'll see. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.